it's it's really important to, to make the bike do things out on the racetrack that you want it to do. And if the handlebars and the foot pegs are in the wrong position and you're not comfortable, it's uh, going to not only make you not do those things on the track as good, but also, you know, these are hour long races. You know, you need to have be in comfort as much as you can. We're here at Laguna for Sport Bike Wrench doing ergonomics. We're with Chuck Warren, Blake's crew chief, and thank you for your time. Um, as with all the race bikes we see here, there are no stock clip-ons and no stock rear set. Uh, that's correct. All, all of those components get changed, um, uh, particularly just to suit the rider. Now, the one thing we're obviously focusing on in, is ergonomics. There's so much more adjustability with aftermarket products than there are with stock, so that really gives you the opportunity to get the rider very comfortable. Well, we use uh, Yoshimura components uh, for our handlebars, our handlebar uh, locators, our foot pegs, our gear shift levers, and it allows us to, to move the bars pretty much in any position that Blake wants, in any angle that he wants. Uh, we can also move the foot pegs uh, in any position he wants, in any placement he wants. Now, how much time at any given track will you spend making changes or is one position pretty much a set position? Once we figure out what Blake likes, uh, then we stick with it. In fact, at the race track, uh, I'm sorry, at the race shop, we have uh, tools that we can use when we disassemble the frame and are doing our work. When we put it back together, we know that all the controls are in exactly the position that he wants it. So that every time he gets on a motorcycle, at any track, anywhere, it always feels the same to him. And uh, the one thing I think people don't understand is that if a rider is not comfortable on a bike, then most of their attention cannot be spent on working the bike to its maximum potential because they're just not comfortable. That's correct. We, you really want the bike to fit the rider like a glove. You want the rider to feel like he's at home. He settles in, he sits on the bike, he knows where everything is. He doesn't have to think about anything associated with the bike when he's doing his job. I think the other thing that most people don't realize too is a lot of guys will go to track days with stock components and drag the foot pegs, but those foot pegs actually will bend because they're articulated. The race rear sets are quite different. The race rear sets are quite different. We have almost, an, within, a, within certain confines, we have almost an infinite amount of adjustability. We can move them back or forward, up back and, and, and we can move the gear shift lever, we can change the length of the foot peg, change the sharpness of the foot peg, we can change the shape of the foot peg, we can change the way it's rounded at the end, we can change the grip of the, of the end of the uh, gear shift lever, we can change the, the length and the grip of the brake pedal. And the beautiful thing about that is, especially for you, once you find, as you have said, that comfort zone, a lot of that work has gone away. It has. It has. It, uh, Yoshimura is very good about making parts for us to try. And we did make several uh, uh, handlebar clamps for him to try that move the handlebars either away from him or back to him. And several uh, he didn't care for. And it's expensive for Yoshimura to make those, but they will do that to find the, the exact position that he likes to be in. And then from then on, we will use those handlebar mounts and handlebars. Um. I know there's a lot of curiosity out there about this one question because some people don't believe it takes much time to do that. But I know that you may spend maybe a day trying different components, as you said, different handlebars, different angles, different rear sets, different foot positions. It's not a case of trying two or three things and 20 minutes later the ride is comfortable. No, no, usually we, uh, uh, usually the, the rider will have to get on the bike and ride it a little bit and then come in and say, the handlebars are too far away from me or they're too flat, they're not angled back enough, or I've got my, uh, and Blake in particular, at the very beginning of the year, he said, I believe our handlebars are pulled back in too much, only because I'm wearing the outside of the throttle and the outside of the left hand, uh, grip, because he's using the outside of his hand, rather than using all of his hand. And so we had to find it, a position where the bars would be in the right position, but he could use his, whole, his entire hand to control the handlebar. How much time would you estimate early on in the season when you first started working did you spend physically on getting the ergonomics right? 
Well, we spent quite a bit uh, because we started testing the K9s and then uh, we had to switch back to the K8s and we raced the K8s, uh, the 08 bikes uh, for the first three races. And it took us a while to get those bikes set up, you know, maybe a couple of hours getting them set up over the course of several races to get them salt set up. And then we went back to the K9 and we had to do it all over again. But, but we have got the bike uh, and, and the shape of the tank and everything else so that uh, Blake can get into a comfortable tuck and not have the bike have the bike feel like a glove and at the same time not have the bike interfere with him in any way. We greatly appreciate your time. We know you're really busy and we'll let you get back to work. So thank you, Chuck. Thank you very much.